Hey guys, Lucas here. Today I want to show you an app I created for Google Glass that uses Tipco Streambase to push events to my glass in real time. Basically the idea is to allow users to subscribe to events they're interested in, and as those events come in, they'll instantly be pushed to the glass. So for this demo, I'm actually using the metronome operator from Streambase, which will drop new events into my stream every 10 seconds, just so I can show that it is working uh, correctly. So as the messages come in, they're actually being formatted using HTML. So I have a title as well as the message itself. The message is just a simple, uh, it says, you know, it's the word alert, has a number next to it, so that way it increments, let me know that I do have new events coming in, as opposed to just repeating the same event every time. Now, not only can you use HTML, but you can also upload images. So in the next version of this uh, app, I'm actually going to be integrated with Tipco Live View as well. So that way when events come in that I'm interested in, I'll be able to tap on the side of the glass to drill down to actually see those charts from Live View, uh, as well as anything else that's related to that event that I'm uh, interested in. Okay, well now I have my stream based server started, and as I'm speaking, it's actually waiting every 10 seconds to generate a new event. As those events come in, like I said, they're pushed to the uh, Google Mirror API, where they're immediately available on my glass. So all I have to do to actually see those events is just swipe down the side. And as you can see here, I actually got my first event. This is my first message. It's just a simple uh, little HTML message, but like I said, in the next version, I'll be integrated with Tipco Live View, so I'll actually be able to see those charts as well. So if I keep going, there's another event that came in. I can keep scrolling back and another event. So what I can do now is I can actually tap on the side, pulls up the delete menu. So all I have to do is just tap delete again, and the event's gone. In the next version of it, when I tap on the side, not only will I be able to see the delete menu, but I'll also be able to see other menus as well. Like I said, I'll be able to drill down on charts, see the event details. I'll also be able to reply to any events if I need to. So for now, we're just going to keep deleting some events just to show you that this is working. And like I said, as I'm speaking, I have new events coming in. So the last message I got was alert 6. Give it 10 seconds. I'll get another alert. And there it is. So there's alert 7. So that's it. Thanks for watching.